But you say, none of these line formats look like lines that I know in 2D. In 2D, I know y equals ax plus b. How do any of these compare to y equals ax plus b? Well, let's take what it says, a point, t, and make it in two dimensions, so just x0, y0. And we want a parallel directional vector, we'll say a parallel line. We want it to be parallel to y equals ax plus b. And the formula for this line in this format would be y minus y0 equals a times x minus x0. That's how we know how to do it. We put the y0 on that side and we get the format that we know of slope intercept. Well, this sort of looks like this one down here, right? Let's see if we can fix it up so that it looks like that. So we're gonna put this over here on the left and divide by one over a to make it the same. So we would have x minus x zero divided by one over a, right? Equals y minus y zero divided by, and in this case, we have one. So what can we say? We can say this means that L equals one over A and M equals one. So now we can make the parametric form of the line using this set of equations and the vector parametric form. So let's do the parametric form in 2D would be, we only have two equations, X equal to x0 plus l is 1 over a, so 1 over a times t, and y equals y0 plus, and this will be 1, so we're not going to write it, we'll just say t. So if we're told to find the parametric form of a line passing through this point and parallel to this line, here we go. And similarly, if we're told to find the vector parametric form, we simply say the first one will be x equals t plus lambda times 1 over a 1 or xy equals x0 y0 plus lambda times 1 over a 1. So here we have how to write, instead of writing in slope intercept, which is our standard form in 2D, here's how to write the parametric form of a line in 2D and the vector parametric form of a line in 2D.